uh, we're about ready. So as you can see, um, everything's assembled. Got an optimized nose cone, at least I believe it is, to direct the flow. And everything is, it's, it spins freely. You can hear that, that gear in there. Okay, so the outcome to this, as we get started, <laughs> uh, is that this burns up, hence the hot glue as the attachment points. And then there's just a rubber hot glue kind of bushing that I made for the interface. So I don't ruin the whole thing. If this doesn't push it, which I believe it will, then, um, you know, we'll just change it out with a lower KV, sacrifice a few RPMs, and then we'll go from there. But this is the turbo jet. Modified, rebuilt, remixed, assembled, fingers crossed, so on and so forth. So on the sides, I did do some hot glue. This, you know, it's a prototype. So instead of having my tabs on here that I'm gonna have to kind of clamp everything, like, you know, clamshell it together, um, I did my best to hold everything together and then make sure that there's no air leaks by putting a little bit of hot glue around the seams and things like that. But on the finished model, I will use um, probably an RTV between the two clamshell halves. And then obviously we'll be running all of the bolts to make sure everything's nice and secure. This is just, like I said, I'm running out of bolts. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that looks like... An awesome turbine. A little bit leery about this stand right here, but um, let's get this party started. All right. Let's see if she gets hot. Woo! What the? Oh my god! Well, the first part's working, huh? A little bit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Totally fine. <laughs> okay, so I did figure out what happened on that. Um, if you look at this lip, you can see how it kind of drops down here. Just a hair. And... As you rotate it, you can see how it's below the lip of the spool for the turbojet spool. And then when you rotate it around, you can see how it's sticking up a little bit over here. Till you get to this point where it's really sticking up. So that was the minor imbalance. <laughs> Literally maybe a quarter millimeter that threw the turbofan spool section here off of its track, basically. And it would spin for a little bit, and then when you hit a high enough RPM, it basically exploded. So the vibration took over. So what I did is instead of having this shaft bolted to this, I integrated it into the spool as one full print. So it stays on the origin point in Fusion 360 and is aligned perfectly. So I don't have that issue again. So I'm reprinting and we'll get everything fixed. And I'm also addressing a few issues with the case. And um, then we'll have V2 ready to go <laughs> in uh, maybe a day. Okay, so I've already taken care of that issue that we had with the spool being misaligned so now it's all just one piece now i don't have to worry about it and yes i've developed the technique of printing and then installing the bearings while it's printing because i have pieces that the bearings won't fit over because i don't want a bunch of connection points that can fail so i just went halfway through the print and then dropped the bearings in and let it continue so um that's taking care of the meshing 
of the motor's spool and uh, some of the play that I did have in this section here um, could have contributed partially to what happened, but I've also redone, you know, the, the motor mount itself to make it more, more rigid and a little bit more robust. So, um, I'll give you a picture of V2, but everything's getting printed right now. And of course my, um, nozzle and cone and everything's still in good shape. So we don't, we can reuse that. That's not a big deal. So V2 will be even better. This is how we, we test. We print, we blow it up and we do it again. Sort of like a SpaceX approach. Seems to be working.